Hey everyone! It's Wellens and welcome to Metal Gear Solid 1. This is my first time playing the Metal Gear series. If you've just dropped in on this video, you might want to go back to the intro video where we looked at the introductory context around what's going on here. But basically, we are a spy. We have infiltrated into Alaska to rescue some CEOs and presidents and to stop a potential nuclear attack. I'm not sure if there's anyone watching not familiar with Metal Gear Solid at all, but this game came out in 1998. So as you can see, it's a little bit dated. But from what I know, it's pretty much a cult classic. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. Cut my hair. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need <laughs> to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The touchpad, the codec's okay. The receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, let's get going. It's cold here. Hmm. I did read the manual to learn the controls a little bit before we started, but let me just press some stuff so I know what I'm doing here. Square. I think this is uh choking people. Ah, uh, there's a there's a first person mode, which is actually this is pretty dang cool. Because normally we get this overhead view, but everything is actually rendered in 3D anyway, because you can st Whoa. <laughs> we might want to be careful here. Yeah, but you can still... You can change how you want to look at things. Hmm. There's something... pick up over there, maybe? It's something spinning. What? Oh god. Oops. Snake, you have to crawl to get through there. First, crouch down by pressing the crawl button, and then use the directional button to crawl in the direction you want. Be careful, though. Crawling is slow, and you can't attack when you're doing it, either. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. Yes, I was getting there. Thank you for letting me know, though. Crawl... Yes, yes, here we go. Okay, and then there's also a... This is General punching someone, I think? This is choking someone. Yeah, the biggest thing I think I have to get used to is the control scheme. This game uses the Japanese style where the circle button on the controller is the confirmation. Whereas, usually in North America, Europe, basically everywhere else aside from Japan, these days we use X, right? It's kind of a big change. I might need some time to get used to it. Okay. L1? R1? Nothing? L2. Rations. Restores the life. Okay. Scope. Magnifying scope. I'm not sure if they're gonna teach me about everything, so I'm just trying to get a, a sense of what we're looking at here. Cigarettes. Solid Snake's favorite brand. Smoking is hazardous to your health. Why the hell do we have cigarettes? <laughs> okay. And then... I think this is weapons, but we don't have anything right now. Okay. Very confident for them to put the credits in the beginning like this. Usually you have it at the end because, you know, you want people to focus on the product first, but here they're like, nope. If we crawl, we're really slow. I don't know if we want to crawl everywhere. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, are more people coming? That's not good. Oh, there's a little rat! Whoa, this is so cool! 
I mean, it's obviously old and kind of pixely and stuff, but... They're doing a lot with these pixels they have here. <gasps> Could you not look here, please? Uh, I can't see the map when we're crawling, so this kind of makes it hard for me to get a feel for the place. Hold up, I think you can also... Yeah, so if I press against the wall, another view. Another different way I can see the whole place here. It's really damn cool. Oh! Oh, that's a, that's a puddle, I think. We're not supposed to... <gasps> Am I just trying to get here? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they mentioned a lot of little things in the manual already. Like, don't run across puddles, because it'll make noise. And I made sure to read it, because I know back then, in this era, you were expected to read the manual before getting into it, because there's not necessarily going to be a tutorial here. I learned that from Tomb Raider recently. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Maybe we should try hurting somebody soon. Metal Gear Solid. Tactical espionage action. Dude, these scenes are so cool. They're doing a lot with these pixels. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. Age? How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. Can we I have see. it? I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. That's not good. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Whoa, these effects are pretty cool. I love the attention to detail. People's breaths, because it's so cold. The shorter hair probably doesn't help with keeping the temperature in, though. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. I'm a legend. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Wow. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Solitan radar system. Work first, the Snake. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself what? with whatever weapons you can find. Oh. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. <laughs> by the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Wow. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. It makes me look cool or something. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five, five sensors and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Oh. We can climb up the duct. We gotta know where we're trying to go first, though. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Okay. Thank you, thank you for your trust. I'm a living legend! Yeah, I'm a living legend as well. Not just Big Boss, well he's a dead legend. And maybe not so much of a legend since apparently he's a bad guy. I would like to immediately... Oh no, I already forgot the number, what was it? 14096 was it? You caught Snake? I would like to save, yes. That was in the manual. I don't remember everyone's numbers, but storage one and two, what does that mean? Is that like a PS1 thing? Why is there two different storages? New file need one block. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. He seems pretty chill then, like he's not... Oh my god, we only have 18 hours left. Oh, hurry up and do this. No, he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna hit on some girls while I'm here. Hey, I'm gonna strip search you when I'm back, doctor. Yada yada yada. Pretty confident. Uh, what was it, 85 for the... the colonel? Snake, your mission is to infiltrate, not to fight. Don't let the enemy see you. 
First, you've got to rescue the DARPA chief. Infiltrate the building in front. Look for some way to get in. Yeah, okay. We don't have a weapon right now, so we can't really fight back. Although the, the chokehold thing might be a thing. Alright, alright. I mean, there's various things happening here. Can we just crouch instead of crawl? I don't know if that's a thing. There's a searchlight. There's two searchlights. There's a spinny thing that I can collect in the middle there, but is it worth collecting if it means that I gotta be in the... Like, how the hell am I gonna get in the middle there? Without the light detecting me. I can use my... My scope. <laughs> yes, th this way. This way, snake. Uh, mm, of course, we can't mark the people. Hmm. Well, how do we... How do I get out? Oh, God. Oh, just no item it? I don't think I can climb over this, though. So I, I gotta look for the breakages. I well, I gotta come up here, then. Okay, maybe getting that... Chaff grenade. Okay, so what is that? What is that yellow? Is that a searchlight? Or is that an enemy? The thing about searchlights is that we shouldn't have to care about sound, right? We only have to care about line of sight. I, I can't see it here. I'm too scared to go there. I, I can't see! You're not giving me a- Surveillance camera? Oh no, there's something there. How can I get in without... Who's that? That surveillance camera is covering the entire area. If we want to reach that spinny thing to collect. If we can destroy it, maybe it'll work, but... I'm not seeing a way at the moment. Okay, I'll leave it alone for now. Oh, what if I use the grenade I got to destroy this thing? How do I use a grenade? Okay, I mean... Everyone's gonna know I'm here when I use a grenade, though, so... <laughs> maybe let's not do it like that, either. Okay, I don't see people. I don't, I don't see people. I want to go for that air duct. Oh. Yeah, the, this guy's sleeping. But there was also a surveillance thing right in front of- next to him. He's sleeping while standing up, my god. Okay. So calm. That is a gun! That is a gun! Okay! Disables electronics. <gasps> okay, okay. You know what? This might be a terrible. This might be a terrible idea, but do you want to try using it on this thing? Disables electronics. That's what this is for, right? But the thing I get in return better be good. Wait, so how do I use it? Uh... Oh no. I think we're good? Oh, even my own radar gets jammed! Something to know. Okay, I think that worked out fine. Woo! Hey, we're learning things left and right, that's good. Probably want to put this away normally though. Oh, so in return I got a stun grenade from that. I'm so scared of pushing buttons because I'm- I'm- I don't want to accidentally throw something. Hold up. Disables all enemies. If I want to get into the air duct... Maybe look around a little bit more first, if that's possible. Maybe not here. Because there's a surveillance camera and a dude there. No, 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 not inside anymore. We're just right up to this place now, but, um... There's someone walking on the balcony above us. If he's sleeping, if I throw a grenade, he's gonna wake up, isn't he? If I throw the grenade, that only stops electronics. 
I'm mainly relying on the radar right now when I look around. Just letting you know my, my thought process and all that. I'm gonna try to... Oh. It's just that the guy's sleeping. I'm not sure how to deal with him. Do you think I can just go past him? But the- no, the problem is the surveillance camera, I think. Okay, how about we give it a go? How about we try something- this might be terrible, but we can hide or whatever. We can just- we need to try things in the beginning. Oh, that press- oh, that's square. I was like, what is that? It looks like a character that can't be displayed, that square. Okay. He's gonna wake up though, isn't he? Okay, if he wakes up, I'll switch to the stun grenade, maybe. But he's not moving away. He's right in front of the duct. I have a very bad feeling about this. We have to move him away, right? Then we need some kind of a distraction. Even if we stun him, if he's standing right in front of the duct. That's still kind of be a problem. Okay, maybe we'll... <sighs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. There is a dude that's patrolling. I don't see them here. Wait, okay, so we wanna... Can you show me the... Right, I wanna... Ah, okay, we can just go up the stairs. If we're fast enough. Okay, this was much easier. Oh god, someone's walking here. <gasps> someone's walking here. I mean, if someone's walking here. I can shoot them, or I cannot. <laughs> I need to get used to try to... How to activate the items, though, because it takes some menus to try to figure out. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Wait, by the way... It, ah, so it's... The place, it's paused. It's paused when I'm in the menu. Good to know. Oh my gosh. Where do I need to be? I actually don't know right now. See, this is a place for hiding. That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That hind will be coming back soon. Oh god, okay. Uh, I don't think I need to be saving this frequently, but I'm scared. <laughs> what is it, Snake? Just, just in case, okay? Just in case. Snake, listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really <laughs> need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Thanks for that tip. Okay, so what, 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 uh, something about exhaust openings? Hmm. My guy. Wait. Oh, I was like, okay. Yeah, I thought there would have been more there. Oh, that could have turned up bad pretty quickly. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Well, this is so cool. Like... Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, Master. so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. 
Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Oh, I feel like I gotta start writing these down somewhere because I'm definitely not gonna remember all of them. Do you have anything right now? Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Uh, what was he again? 140... 140... 85? I've already forgotten everything. Snake, when you enter a narrow space, you'll automatically go into intrusion mode. Press up on the directional button to go forward and down to retreat backwards. Oh. You can also press right or left to face either direction. Advance while hiding yourself, pay attention to the enemy's actions, and make sure you're not discovered. But be careful. You can't attack while you're in intrusion mode either. Mm. And even if you go into intrusion mode while you're being chased, the enemy's grenades will still follow you. Snake, first you've got to find the DARPA chief. Look for clues. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I'm supposed to be a legendary spy, but everyone's trying to teach me how to do this and that. Because God knows I need it. I can see outside, I guess. I'm not sure if I can do too much more here. It's very dark. Oh. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about oh. the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Lots of curious things for us. Things to keep in mind. But I can't- I can't drop down from here, right? That was just for me to find out some info. As long as nobody looks up here. Should be fine. Oh, we can see there's a camera there. Can I get a better look without moving? Maybe that first person- oh, here we go, the first person mode. Huh. We know we need to go to the... the basement. But apparently there's also some other women being held here. Oh, that's a computer, right? Might be a place we'd want to go to. There is also another vent on the other side. I'm looking right at it. Maybe I can get in that room somehow. Well, this is a way. Oh, there's some some rations there. This is not a way. It's pretty dark. Am I dropping down here? Can I not? Press the action button to drop down. Do I have to? Ah, oh, you don't have to, I see. I don't- yeah, there's more rations that I can't pick up. <laughs> that's a good thing. If we have to pick up rations, it means we're getting hurt and stuff, and that's- that's not a good thing. Ah, uh, okay, that's a camera. So, I don't know, do we want to get some grenades and stuff ready already? Mm, maybe we're okay for now. Yes? Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Got it. Uh... <laughs> How did that camera not see me? I don't know. More grenades.
There's a bit of a blind spot right here, right? Yeah. Uh, that room that we're looking at, there was a red... I'm not sure what that is. Oh, you gotta hurry up. Can we do something about this? Oh, there's a lot of cool camera angles, although... I don't really know how to make good use of all of them yet, but um... I don't think we can open this door, that's a issue here. I'm trying not to get found out by the camera at the same time. It doesn't actually go that far, thank goodness. Okay, we can go down, right? Can we? Oh, there's this chain there, I think. I'm checking out that camera viewing angle. Oh my goodness. Thermal goggles. Okay, that's interesting. I feel like I've never played a game before where you can look at the camera like this. We're primarily in bird's eye point of view, but then it can also switch to some really like more detailed. Yeah. Like, normally this might be a way better, way easier way to look at things, but they very deliberately did a, like a bird's eye view as the default kind of mode. Uh, I want to check out the thermal goggles, but maybe we're, when we're in a safer place, not like this. There's a multiple tanks down there, multiple people. Maybe we're kind of safe-ish here. Oh, wait, wait, someone's here. There's someone looking here. Thermal imaging system for night vision use. It's not nighttime here right now, but we could use it anyway. Oh. I guess it makes things easier to look at in the dark. Ha, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's a camera, I think? Alright, so this is another door that I don't think I can... Whoa. Frankly, I don't know how the <laughs> we've been avoiding the cameras the whole time. It's kind of insane. Might want to be a bit more careful, though. Sometimes I don't stick next to the wall. I'm just sort of, whoa, 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 whoa. See, like, in a position like here, it might be way easier for me to be able to see in front of me, but because of this deliberate bird's eye point of view. There are certain angles that we can't see that well. We just gotta figure it- oh sh- ah! Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh... Dang it, that was an elevator right there. Okay. The Zabel's all- What should I do? Should I run away? Oh god! Oh god, okay. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Should I shoot? Ah! <laughs> this isn't working out well. Maybe I should be stunning them. No, I don't even have time to take the... <laughs> Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. Oh, I feel like I've heard this line a lot. Is that what it comes from? The game over screen? <laughs> I see. Uh, what do I do once we get caught? I, I feel like I get panicky and then I don't know what to do. Why don't we just not get caught? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the elevator to change floors. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Yeah, I, I tried taking on my gun there, but I don't think... Maybe because I'm naturally supposed to be a spy, I don't... I don't think I'm that good at shooting people. I could have my gun out just in case. But it's just not gonna be... That big of a thing, maybe. And of course, the the autosave thingy is at the... Oh, there is some kind of an autosave, so I'm happy to see that. It autosaves at the beginning of the level, which is good enough for me. Alright. Oh, there's someone below us? At least whenever we're trying to do it again. It should be a lot easier. 
We were so close. I think we had to just maybe press the elevator button. Things get way harder when you get caught because you lose the radar. And right now I'm like 90% looking at the radar. I'm barely... I'm barely looking at what's in front of me. Oh. Is that not a thing? Oh dear. I thought we'd be able to climb into this, this vent thingy or something. Wait, I'm just gonna take away this weapon. No? Maybe because it's not open. What's that beeping sound? That's all I had to do. Now I gotta wait, right? Oh. Oh no, we're not done. Uh... Anybody wanna... Wait, this elevator is not automatic like the last one. Oh, it's wait! The buns are there. Go get them. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the buttons, please. Oh my god, that guy's... <laughs> okay, there we go. Felt like I pressed the fight quite a few times, but it wasn't really... ...doing the thing I wanted it to do. Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Well, what if I want to do other things first? What about the woman in the cell? Are you talking about that little fuzzy... Well, I can't go there right now directly. Ooh. Alright. Could I even try interacting with these buttons? I can't, right? It's not a thing. Yeah, it would be so much- it would be a completely different feel if we had this kind of first-person mode, but this is only for- for looking. You can't walk around like that. Ooh, just checking out some of the posters. <laughs> Very pixelated posters. Wait, this is way too easy, isn't it? This is a trap? There's nobody- there's no guards here. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Yes. I hope we get to look at the... 132 floor later. Oh, here we go again. Hopefully I'll just get dropped at the exact right place and... That'll be that, right? There's a spot here. Um... So whenever I see those... This is not an open vent, but can I drop down into it? Thank you, thank you. I'll just try? No? There's a... There's a net. You can't just drop down. Looks like we haven't invented opening vents yet. <laughs> if it's open, we can go into it. If it's not, we can't. At least for now. Oh, you know what? Like, in a dark place like this, would be the, the thermal... Would this one be good? Uh, not really. Mode A. Wonder if that means we could do some other modes. Hmm. Oh yes, yes, we can switch stuff quicker. I'll take it out, put it back in. I wish we could look down. I'm trying to figure out if I can look down. Maybe not. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? I'm looking. Take a look around in first-person view mode. Am I not already in first per- Oh, I see, because when I'm in first per- Oh, there is a way to look down. Oh, shoot! 
I just drop right down. But yeah, when I enter first person view mode, I can look up and down. So I should stand on top of the vent and then look down, I think is what I was supposed to do. I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They... But you don't know. ...could launch a nuke. <sighs> oh, whoa. How did they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. Metal Gear. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. Oh. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? Zai destroyed the first two. We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. This is so cinematic. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use oh no. Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Did I hide? Whew. Whew. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis. One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Nice backup system. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. 
Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. They didn't it take it from you? With your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. Huh. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? Why? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Oh! What is it? Why? <gasps> it might be the Psycho Mantis guy. R reading minds? No, he he's dying. He's dying. Oh no. Well, someone someone's trying to stop him from talking. Oh, we failed then. He died. Uh, dead. That's not good. Naomi, the chief. What happened? I I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. That sounds really bad for me. We don't even know what this is all really about then. Oh god. What the hell's happening outside? Probably the lady. Is she gonna free me? Ma'am. Oh my god, what? I think she took the one of the guys' clothes. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Hold up. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. You know liquid. She's shaking. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance. That scared look in your eyes. They're rookies' eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! <sighs> You're not one of them, are you? You guys are being too loud. Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! <gasps> oh! Oh god, oh god. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Are they trying to teach me how to shoot here? Nice. Alright, we- oh! How do I manually reload, by the way? I have to figure that out. 
And I very badly need to take... Oh, card. ID card, when equipped, opens all level 1 security doors. When equipped. Okay. Like that. Oh, God! Is there a better way for me to do this? Maybe I should be hiding behind a wall before shooting. Oh, God! How many of them are there? Oh! What? What the hell? Did someone throw a grenade in here? I didn't even see. <gasps> oh. Thanks for the help. Wait! <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what the hell was that? PS1 fan service. You fool! You've killed him! I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. Which we're not gonna get to find out. Yo, you're making a mess of everything! Everyone knows we're here! She's getting good really fast, though. From never having shot someone to mowing down a whole bunch of people. Uh oh. Good girl. Just like that. What the hell? That guy just phase here? Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Well, I don't think I want to stick around and find out, you know, more about this. Oh, wow. Yeah, what did I expect from a Kojima game? Even from Death Stranding, I knew that cutscenes were gonna be a big thing. I love it though. And I'm... Aside from the cinematicness, another thing I'm really impressed by is the audio quality. Oh wow, this poor dude. Should we like... Can we do something to him? Give him some clothes? Steal more of his clothes? Yeah, the audio quality, there was a cutscene just now where it was panning from this room to the room next door and it was like making sure the audio matched that it was a little bit further away and then it got back to being direct again it's pretty cool especially because i feel like in 98 i would have expected the sound to be more like an am radio show basically here's some computers uh but can we read things on the computer is what i'm wondering about It might not be a thing. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that might be a way for me to distract people, huh? Making sounds. Okay, cool. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think... I don't think this is a, a, a thing. Can I open these lockers? <laughs> yes, I'd really like a refill on the bullets. So the bullets. Can you teach me how to re... Hold down to aim, release the fire. It's a, s it's a pistol. Okay. Alright. It's gonna be a bit of a learning curve, alright? Bear with me. <laughs> that woman could have fooled me though, because I, th I would have thought sh she looked kind of tough. She had a tattoo and everything, so I thought she was really badass and stuff. But as it turns out, more of a rookie. But she's definitely a fast learner. Maybe she'll provide some distractions. Oh, this is a uh, level six. I guess we're not coming back here. Do we want to go... Well, this is where we came from. Do we want to go back to the original floor and see if we can open those doors? Because there were two that we could have opened. But it would mean that we would have to fight the dudes again, right? Or like try to sneak past them again. Which I'm not really keen on doing. 
Maybe I shouldn't even be standing in front of the elevator like that. Who knows who's gonna come up, right? Oh my goodness. Is it worth coming back here? And give me goodies. Cardboard box. A. To heliport. Written on it. Okay. What? Oh! Oh, I feel like I've seen this. I feel... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you showed me this thing, I would know it's a Metal Gear thing, but... Oh, so maybe I, I can make my makeshift... Like, I can hide from the security rays and all that, right? Maybe. We can try it out later. Or do I want to try it out? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I've got this. So let's try to get the other one, too. Cardboard box A? As in there's gonna be more... Wait, there's a guy in there, isn't there? There's a red dot inside. Level two. Guess it's time for us to go then. Is the beeping the presence of some electronic device? The surveillance cameras? It makes me a bit nervous. But I haven't really pinned down what it is yet. Okay, so let me... If I move, will it be smart enough to know that that's not normal? Like something's moving. I'm gonna try to stand here in a spot where I know it can see me. Yeah, yeah, it's working, I think. <laughs> I guess this is my alternative to crawling. Definitely walk slower because of it, though. And you gotta- you gotta take it off. Today! Sometime today. Thanks. 